I just stepped back onto my food truck from an urban farm. I'm gonna show you how to make your new favorite icy treat, honey citrus pops. Anytime you're, you're dealing with local ingredients prepared by chefs who are connected to the farm, who are connected to the beekeepers, you're getting a taste of the love, the passion, and the respect for the environment. Join me as I take the best of urban farms and cook it up right in my food truck. Welcome to the Downtown Farmer. I'm your chef, L'Oreal Gavin. And I'm your farmer beekeeper, Byron Levy. Honey citrus pop, I love you. Oh, hey, we're making honey citrus pops. I'm marrying the delicious poppy citrus flavor with some local honey. I got the honey from the farms. I actually got to meet the bees that made this honey. I do bee removals and relocations when people have bees in their wall. And I come and take them out. I don't kill them. I put them into a new hive box and relocate them to areas where they can live on. Everything a, a bee collects, whether it's from roses or lavender, that flavor is transported to the honey. So when you have a single source honey, you're getting what the essence of a flower tastes like. You're getting unique sugars produced by the plant. That's why there's so much variety in, in honey. So, we're gonna be making a pomegranate syrup. First things first, the way I really like to clean these is I'll get a bowl and I'll just add some water right in there. The seeds are gonna fall to the bottom and the flesh of the pomegranate, which is inedible, floats to the top. Bada bing, bada boom. Pomegranates are beautiful. They look like little jewels. Like I wanna make a little necklace and ring out of them. Like, look at that, it's gorgeous, gorgeousity. So all you gotta do is put your fresh seeds right into the juicer. Just give them a nice little squeeze. So we're gonna make a syrup out of this. Nice and acidic in flavor, but also sugary at the same time. You could use honey, brown sugar, whatever you'd like. I'm gonna use some granulated sugar. It's what my grandma would do. You need to keep it on medium to low heat so that it doesn't burn. You're literally slowly evaporating the moisture out of it so it becomes a syrupy consistency. In a large bowl, I'm gonna be taking some heavy whipping cream and I'm gonna add to it the honey. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of cream at first so I can incorporate that honey in there. And I like to leave this just subtly sweet. You're definitely gonna pick up the flavor profiles of that floral honey that the bees made. But also some of the sugar is gonna come from the orange itself. All right, so this is gonna take a minute for me to whisk it. <laughs> I haven't made it to the gym yet today, so uh, I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way. Honey is kind of like a wine. There's so much nuance in the flavor and the texture. I like to let hives get real strong and take honey after it's been in the box for a long time. So the honey is old and mature and really dark and delicious. Do, 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 do. See how it's starting to get thick and it's making like a ribbon? That's what you want to see. So when it comes to zest at home, all you really need is a peeler. All the essential oils that really make the citrus fruit so bright are just living right on the outside. And it's sad to me because more often than not, this gets thrown away. This is where the oils and the flavor live, baby. Just take it nice and light. So now that you've got your citrus zest, all you've got to do is give it a nice little chop. Look at that. We've got half of a vanilla bean here. There's nothing like real vanilla bean. <laughs> so what you do, you just split it open right down the middle. And with the butt of a knife or a paring knife, you just scrape. So you have all these beautiful little vanilla bean specks. Just scrape it right in, give it a good little whisk. And then we're going to juice a couple oranges so here's what we've got for our syrup. It's that good consistency we're looking for, so we're just gonna let it cool now. So I have these pops. All you need is a pitcher with a little spout on it, and you're gonna pour it right inside. Give it a couple taps. It'll freeze perfectly on a balanced flat surface. Two to three hours later, you've got the perfect frozen creamy treat. I'm just gonna pour the pomegranate syrup over the fresh pomegranate seeds. Ooh, look at that, it looks like candy. Mother Nature's candy. Let me show you the finished honey citrus pop. Check this out. Hoo hoo, look at that, perfect. You can see the beautiful pieces of the fresh orange zest in there. And then while you're enjoying it, you can just keep sticking it into the pomegranate seeds in the syrup. Hoo, that looks good. I'm just chilling, cooking from the farm to the food truck with love. Give me a like and subscribe while you're here. Ask me any questions, I'll answer them for you. See you next time.